Bikes are becoming more and more popular, but are they safe? Action News Now reporter Shadi Pullen looked into the future of the bikes and how to stay safe out on the road. Some e-bikes can reach up to 28 miles per hour and go faster than regular bikes. And that's one of the reasons for the high demand and for the safety concerns. It's much easier to ride your bike downtown, stop at a coffee shop, see your friends, walk your bike, ride it, and just go through all these like beautiful places that we have in Chico. Some bicyclists also prefer e-bikes because they are cheaper than cars. Students especially are turning to them to get to their classes on campus faster and to save money on gas. But there are some safety concerns. I spoke to a few shops that sell e-bikes to get their thoughts on safety. Laws have existed for years, so obey the bike laws, ride on the right-hand side of the road, use your hand signals for turning, and um, be cautious of and aware of uh, traffic. You know, vehicles are always going to win. They're a thousand plus pound equipment versus you unguarded on a bicycle e-bikes, they go so much faster that it can be both dangerous to the e-biker if they get into an accident because they're at such a higher speed and to other people on those bike trails if they get into a collision with the e-bike. Herrera says wearing a helmet, bright colors, and making sure you have lights on at all times is how bikers can stay safe. Okay, so this is one of the e-bikes I have. This one is specifically um, designed to where if you are in a dress, you can put your leg over it comfortably. They also do have this style for regular bikes, but I'm gonna show you how to get on it. I put my leg through here, and I just sit right on it, and you're all good to go. Hiera tells me that e-bikes can range from $15,000 to $8,000. Reporting in Chico, I'm Shadi Plun with Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. I think about that all the time. If you're wearing a dress or skirt, it would be tough to get around. What a cool thing that is. Herrera says people driving in cars give bicyclists in lanes enough room to avoid running them off the road.